Hi, I'm Javis Lewis and in this quick tip I want to show you how to fix the dreaded video input issue with the Elgato HD60 Pro HDMI capture card. I bought this puppy about a couple of months ago because I wanted to do some console streaming on both to YouTube and to Twitch and I've got to say this card is phenomenal. It works really, really well when it works but sadly it doesn't always do that and one of the annoying issues is it comes up with this which is more or less nothing and that's not really what we want so the error manifests in three different ways so sometimes you basically get nothing which is just a black picture uh, sometimes you get things that that's like a little circle in the middle that says no input signal at the top and then there's a third screen that you sometimes see which is kind of a gray more flashy looking thing that also essentially says no there's no signal but what's weird is that here in OBS I can see that my audio is actually coming in from the card so that tells me that my wiring and my setup is essentially correct I mean believe me I've been through the whole rigmarole of replacing cables and reseating the card and trying a different whatever and it just none of that works and playing with all these um, settings here under properties uh, really doesn't do anything to bring the card back to life well here's a trick of how to do that so uh, cancel out of here don't even go in here close your capturing software it doesn't matter by the way if it's obs or if it's xsplit or if it's elgato's own game capture hd what you want to do is uh, search for the device manager and this is on windows 10 i'm not sure how this works on windows 8 or windows 7 but i would imagine the way to get there is somehow similar to get to the device manager and under sound video and game controllers if you open that up that's where you're going to find that card so that's the game capture hd 60 pro card here and there's a few ways to disable the card just briefly and then re-enable it one way is with the card selected you can just click that big x here whoops not that that x this uh, this this arrow thing at the top here that says disable device you can also right click on this thing and just go disable the device so don't uninstall it just disable it and that's probably the easiest way and it comes up with the dialogue that says do you really want to do that and you say yes and uh, then that logo in front of the card changes a little bit and that's really all you need to do now you go ahead and re-enable it so once again right click and say enable device you can also do that from this little icon up here enable device so just click that and that just kind of resets the card somehow i don't really know why this is necessary why in a 170 dollar card this can't be built in but hey i guess we can't have everything and so now when i open obs studio up again in a few moments it'll just uh, show me my input on the playstation 3 or from the playstation 3 here now, having said that, uh, I'm using a PlayStation 3 and or a PlayStation 4 every once in a while. Uh, for the PlayStation 3, the card needs an unencrypted HDMI signal. So I'm getting that here with a splitter that strips that copy protection out. I just thought I'd mention that before I get comments saying, hey, actually, it doesn't really work with the PS3. Well, in my case, it does, and that's what I bought it for, and that's why I also put a splitter in there so that it will work. So I hope this was helpful. If you have questions about this card, I've been dealing with this a lot. I've also been in touch with Elgato support. They're aware of the issue. They're trying to fix it. Um, do please let me know if you have other experiences with the card. Now, other than that, share this video with friends, family, and total strangers who also have issues with the HD60 Pro capture card and other than that i will see you later take care bye bye